Hello and welcome to my Disney packing vlog. It is, can you see this? Two days until Disney. What, what? It's Friday afternoon, it's about, that says it's four, but I don't think it's four. It's 3.30 and we leave on Sunday morning. Our flight departs at 6 a.m. So we only have, like I have like a little more than 24 hours of like good solid time to get prepared before we need to start switching into like driving to the airport mode. So here's where I am. I have, I'm in my guest bedroom. Um, this is where I like to pack because our suitcases are huge. I shared all about my suitcases in my holiday Christmas travel prep video. So I'll link that above um, if that is helpful to you. Um, but they're e-bags. I'll link them below that we love them. We're obsessed with them. In the last one, I told you that we bought them off ebags.com, but that is not true. My husband reminded me that we actually got them from Amazon because they were cheaper that way. Anyway, they're huge. They're awesome, and we love them. I have my Disney binder out. So if you know, my first step in packing for a trip is always to write a daily plan. But with Disney, the good news is, is that that is all already done. So... Um, here is my Disney trip plan for the week that we're going to be there. So basically, I know what we need every day. It's just comfortable, casual clothes, lots of layers, a couple of rain, you know, rain things in case it rains, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then the only thing that we have that's, that's an exception is that we are having a dinner at Narcoosie's, which is a little bit nicer. And so we will want to have just a little bit nicer outfits for that night, but everything else is the same, which makes it really easy. In addition to having our daily plan already done, I do have the weather printed out um, for the time that we're gonna be there. I always do this. You can see this is my Disney travel binder. I've recycled it. This is the third time I've used it. And I just keep the tabs and change the information out. Um, so I've circled the days that we're gonna be there and we are in luck. It looks like it's gonna be really, actually really gorgeous weather. So I'm hoping, um, um, that shouldn't make it too difficult to pack. So that's the first thing I always do. The second thing I always do is do all of my laundry um, because it is frustrating to me to be packing and then like be needing to do a load of laundry here or there. So the, f the last of all of my clothing laundry that needs to get done is in the dryer. Once that, dry once that is dried and folded, I'm gonna start packing. And finally, I have a... Um, <clears throat> This basket that I've been keeping in my bedroom full of all kinds of wonderful goodies. I had just filmed a um, pre-Disney trip packing haul video. I will link that above as well. Um, and so this is stuff that I've been collecting over the course of the past nine months before our trip. And so I have that basket in here. This is the bag that I use as my carry-on and I also like to carry it through the parks. It's lightweight, it's thin, it's washable, it works great for me. The strap is thick enough, it does not hurt my back. So I have all of that. So basically I just need to finish up my laundry and then I'm gonna move on to the next stage which is gonna be packing clothing. And from there we will move on to things like toiletries and everything else. Welcome to my Disney packing vlog. I hope you enjoy it. While I wait for my last load of laundry to dry, it's in the dryer right now, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and make my little envelopes for mousekeeping. So mousekeeping is the Disney version of housekeeping, obviously. And um, I always, every day in a little envelope, I like to leave them um, a monetary tip in there. And then um, I just write, thank you, mousekeeping on the outside. And I just happen to have these stickers that Disney sent me. Um, so I'm just gonna put those on the outside of it as well. I always like to tip the housekeepers. I am sure they are probably the, some of the most underappreciated employees at Disney as far as how much hard work they have to do. And so I think giving them a daily tip is nice, especially since sometimes it switches off. It could be the same person cleaning the room for six days and on the seventh day, someone new comes in and then that person gets the whole tip. And so anyway, I just break it up into daily little envelopes. So I'll show you when I'm done. All right, I'm all finished. So each one just has, they're just, you know, they just have little stickers on them and whatnot. But I'm gonna go ahead and put them in my Disney little binder so I don't forget them. And then each morning before we leave for the parks, we will go ahead and put one out where it's easily seen so that whoever is servicing our room that day knows that this is for them. All right, we have started packing our bags. I have all of my shirts in here. I have 14 of them two per day because generally we like to change for the evening. So I have 
some of these are mine, some of these are from Happily Ever Tees, and these are all Old Navy. And then I have some undershirts, and then all of our shoes, my shoes that I'm bringing. Um, so I'm going to wear these on the airplane, and then I always like to bring a second pair of tennis shoes. Um, just to kind of have my feet rub in two different places as I'm walking like 20 miles a day Some flats for the one nice dinner out that we have and just some easy flip-flops to throw on if we want to go into um, The little food area at night to get some tea or coffee or water or something And then I'm also bringing these insoles our super feet insoles um, I don't like wearing them all the time, but they're sometimes necessary for me when my knee starts hurting and then this is kind of like a foot care bag so I have foot powder and then moleskin is great for blisters and things of that nature and then this is a little knee it's not really a brace but it goes around my knee so I have all of that packed in this lower compartment I'm gonna go ahead and put these decals onto our magic bands now um, in preparation for the trip and Riley is he has his new pillow on his neck and he's working on packing as well so you have hooks so there's no empty space right here and you can like, fall asleep like this. <laughs> Charlie knows something's up and he's starting to get a little upset, I think. We just put our decals on our magic bands. These decals are from Shop Emily G on Etsy, and they turned out great. Riley chose a haunted mansion one, and mine is a shell pattern. You can see I just Instagrammed it in the background. Super, super cute, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in my carry-on because we will need these as soon as we land in Orlando for the Magical Express. All right, guys, it's about 11.20. And I'm going to call it a night. Um, we have both packed the large majority of our clothing. And then I actually also added this cute pin from MilaMouse.com um, to my bag. So cute, right? So I'm going to use, I think, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this as my carry-on. I might take a backpack. Um... I just like to have lots of different bag options in Disney. Wow, I, it looks like it's 1120 <laughs> um, because I'm never sure exactly. Um, I try to remain really upbeat and positive whenever I'm filming um, because nobody likes to watch someone who's just miserable. But the honest reality is that this week has been so rough. Um, we have had so many weird things go wrong this week. Our dog has had issues like five Four or five of our appliances in our house have like completely gone, just randomly gone out. We don't know what's going on, so we're trying to get those repaired. I, I've been working for months on this booklet for my church, and we just got them printed, and the printer printed them completely wrong, and we got them today, which is Friday, and they are going to be passed out on Sunday, so there's no time to correct that. It's like been one thing after the other every single day of this week. This is the last night's sleep that I can have tonight. Um, it's like I said, it's like 11, 20, 11, 30, and so I need to get a really good night's sleep. I'm thankful because I was able to get so much packing done today that tomorrow hopefully I won't have to do quite as much. I need to really focus on resting tomorrow and pulling myself together. Um, my husband was just... Um, we were like hanging out together and he went back into like he has like a we call it his room but it's just basically like a room that has a couch and a tv and i was like oh why are you going back there and he's like you're really hard to be around right now <laughs> which i'm like i don't blame him i've just been a stress ball all week it has not been an easy week um gosh it's just been one thing after the other and anyway and i don't have the kind of job well my job is like 20 different things it's like just not it's not easy to describe but i don't have the kind of thing that i can just walk away from really easily so like i'm trying to get things squared away with etsy get all of my mentees from my blogger mentorship program squared away i'm trying to get all my youtube and blog content squared away just all these different pieces of the puzzle squared away so that i can to some degree check out and unplug while we're away but getting everything um, in a good place for seven days is 
it's just not easy. If you work from home or if you have a job that's not super traditional, like Riley can leave his work at his office slash studio 100% and I'm so jealous. When he comes home from work, he does no more work. I have no idea what that's like. <laughs> Even when I worked a traditional job, um, I worked in marketing for a while, then I worked at a church for a while in ministry, and in both of those jobs, I always had work that I could take with me. So um, anyway, my point in saying all this is that not only have all these weird events been going on this week that have just been highly stressful, on top of that, I've also been trying to prepare to go away, which is not super simple and easy. It's not just like closing my laptop and leaving. It's like getting all these things done. So I know that some of you can relate to that. Holler at me if you can relate to the pre-trip hustle and how it can be pretty stressful, <laughs> like not that fun. So anyway, um, I'm going to try to get a really good night's sleep tonight. I'm going to try to sleep in tomorrow. I haven't been sleeping well this week, which has just been adding insult to injury. Um, like truly have been getting like maybe four hours of sleep each night. My body just can't shut down because I'm just so wound up during the day. So I'm going to take some magnesium, maybe make a cup of tea, get a good night's sleep. I'll check in with you guys in the morning. I'm getting really excited, um, really, really excited because tomorrow is my last day here before we go. So I am really thrilled. It's just a lot. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go sleep. See you guys in the morning. Bye. All right, y'all. You may notice, if you know what our bedroom normally looks like, that I don't have a comforter on our bed. It is now 12.04. I just finished getting completely ready for bed and was so excited to get in it. And got in it and the sheets were completely soaking wet because I washed our sheets and comforter today. And when I pulled the comforter out of the dryer, it felt dry to me, um, but evidently it was not because it... Our whole bed is cold and wet. So this week has been just rainbows and butterflies from beginning to end, really. So I have the fan on to dry off these sheets, which were definitely dry when I put them on, but the comforter was wet. So the comforter made them, made them wet. So the comforter is back in the dryer. So what I'm actually going to do is... Um, that is my makeup case. I will show you it in a second for this trip. And typically what I do is on the morning that I'm getting ready to leave, I just pack my makeup case, but this is a new one with lots of compartments and it's going to take me a minute to organize it. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and do that while everything dries so that I can finally get in bed. And I also realized after I finished filming and saying goodnight that I have to get up at 6, 10 AM to check in for our flight. I'm not gonna show you my face right now because I just took off all my makeup and I look a hot mess, but just picture someone looking sarcastically happy. All right, let's do the makeup thing though because that will give me something to do. Okay, so first of all, this is my, do you like my new striped pajamas? This is my new makeup case. I shared about it in um, my Disney prep haul video. But essentially, if you can see, there are all these different little dividers and they're actually removable. You can slide them out and reconfigure them. I know it's hard to see because it's black, so that might be a little better. And then you can, so you can kind of configure them how you want, which it's hard to do while I'm holding it up. And um, so the idea is that your makeup will stay nice and organized. And then up here, there's a section for your brushes. And then this is a zippered back section for the rest of it. And it's a hard cover case. So um, I got this because I was so tired of my makeup getting crushed and ruined in transit. So I'm going to go ahead and put all my makeup in here. See how it fits. And then I'll check in with you guys. Okay, well, safe to say that I'm obsessed with this thing. That was so easy. And I feel so much better about this than just dumping all my makeup into a big bag like I have in the past. So up here, I put all of my brushes and I like that they're all nice and secured back behind um, this so that when it's closed, they're not gonna get ruined. And then in here, I was able to put all of my lipsticks in here and three different foundations in this little section. And in this little section, I have 
eyeshadows, a blush, a highlighter, setting powders. And then back here I have my makeup sponge and my um, pencil sharpener thing. Um, this is my setting spray. I'm really weird about mascara and I like particularly like different kinds of mascara at different times of day and for different things. So I have four different kinds of mascara. <laughs> and then under it I have stuff for my eyebrows. I have concealer, eyeliner, stuff like that. And it all fits so nicely. And then when it's shut, let's see if I can do this one handed. Okay, so now it's all shut and it's like, it feels so sturdy and just awesome. I love this thing. This is from Amazon. It was very inexpensive. I will link it below if you're interested, but um, I haven't traveled with it yet, but just as far as organizing makeup, it's about 50 billion times better than what I was using, which was just like a big, you know, traditional big makeup pouch and I was just dumping everything in it. Um, and this is like so nice and organized and I actually had two leftover dividers um, They were like the smaller size. They were this one this size um, That I didn't need so I just put them in my in my vanity drawer that way if I ever want to reconfigure it I can do it, but That worked out perfectly put me in a better mood now I'm gonna go get my wet comforter out of the dryer and I will see you guys tomorrow